What were the discussions leading up to? Was it sort of, let's make a list? How did you guys come to the decision together? You know, I'm a big list maker, so I actually did attempt that with Rain. I'm like, let's do the pros and cons. And he, that's not really his personality. So he's like, oh, come on, do we really have to write them down? We, don't we know what they are? Um, you know, I wouldn't say there was one moment that, you know, I really came around to the idea. This has obviously been a while coming. Um, the last year we've talked a lot. You know, every time our college sons were home, I would try to make sure that, like, I talked to them one-on-one, -on -one, Rand talked to them one-on-one. -on -one, How and do they all, feel about it all? You know, they are excited about it. They're really proud of their dad. And I will say I think it's a great example for them in life to really be bold enough to withstand criticism and to sure. put yourself out there for what you believe. And I'm really proud of Rand for that. And I think he does set a good example for our boys. Let's talk about criticism because he's, what, been in the race for all of, what, 10 days? <laughs> and already dealing with, with, with his share as a candidate right now. I want to play you a, a couple of the interviews that, that people are talking about right now. Oh, I bet I know which ones. I, I'm sure you do, but I want to ask you specifically about them. So let's play them. This is sure. this is your husband talking to CNBC and also the Today Show. There's two. So, uh, let, let, let me finish. Hey, 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 let me finish. Hey, Kelly. Hey, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Quiet, go ahead. Cal calm down a bit here, Kelly. Why don't you let me explain instead sure. of talking over me, okay? Before we go through a litany of things you say I've changed on, why don't you ask me a question? Have I changed my opinion? Have you that would be your sort opinion? of a better way to approach an interview. Okay. So you just watch it again here. I'm sure you've seen it before. When you, when you see the shushing right there as we play the video, what do you think? You know, I see his frustration in trying to, you know, not have his ideas represented, misrepresented, and being eager to, get, eager to get into the conversation. Anytime you see political pundits, they're all trying to jump in. And I think that he was trying to do that. It's not anything about women. I think he would have responded to a man exactly the but you same can way. See the how the, the, as a woman, you can see, in fact, I'm wondering if you would have, if that had not been your husband and had seen that, would you bristle? At the fact that he's sort of hushing? You know, it doesn't bother me that it's a woman. I, as again, I think that he would have responded to a male journalist in the same, in way. The same way. Now, again, you can make the argument you need to be smoother, you don't need to be abrupt with people, you're trying to, you know, win over people for your ideas, and I think that's legitimate. But it does bother me that suddenly I'm reading headlines that, you know, does Rand have a problem with woman, women? Because one of the things I tried to point out yesterday that a lot of people might not know about Rand is that his longtime partner in his ophthalmology practice is a female surgeon. They worked together for over 10 years in a you know, two-person practice together and had a great relationship. And if you know anything about medicine, your, you know, your surgical partner is your key person in your business and professional life. 